Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be part two of my beauty room unpacking slash organization video. I just moved into a three bedroom apartment with my boyfriend Jarvis, and I have my own beauty room slash makeup room slash filming room, and that is where we are right now. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below. I highly recommend watching that video before this one, just so you can see the entire transformation, and I think it'll be a lot more satisfying, but let me just show you what the current state of this room is we still have stuff all over the floor I did just recently actually like yesterday and today I ordered from Ikea and we did the like curbside pickup kind of thing and I got a new desk here this is the Mickey table or something like that I will link it down below and then we have the Mickey little four drawer thing over there and this is my computer setup this is where I stream and then over here I have my regular video filming setup and I also bought another one of these Mickey tables and then another one of the Mickey four drawer things. I have so much more space now when I'm filming. The table that I was using before was the Malm dressing table which was so much smaller and this is so much bigger and cheaper so I'm really happy with this purchase. It has two drawers. I've already lined it with the little like no slip stuff. Um, over here we have more stuff all over the floor but this room has come a long way if you saw in part one. I have my last few boxes that I have to unpack and now that I have my new filming table I will be able to unpack my everyday makeup drawer and stuff into here. And then I have this like makeshift background set up temporarily. I have to figure out what I'm going to do for my background but for now I ordered this background stand from Amazon. I will also link this down below. Um, and I just hung up one of these backgrounds that I've had since like 2016 or so. Um, so I just kind of have this here. I haven't filmed any videos yet, but I did order more clips like these clips up here so that I could pull this tight and so there won't be wrinkles, but I definitely want to get more backgrounds and play around with this some more. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little overview. Jarvis just recently built me this gaming PC and I am obsessed with it. I have my new monitors. Oh, my new mouse pad. I don't think you guys have seen this yet, but it actually like lights up around the edge. Um, but yeah, I play Fortnite and some other games over on Twitch, which is like a live streaming website. So Follow me on Twitch, the link will be down below. Um, I do have a closet, which Sorry the lighting is so bad in here. There is some stuff in here. I'm definitely going to have to reorganize this, but that's not my main concern at the moment. So yeah, anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm not really sure how I want to do this. Um, these drawers aren't set up the same. Like these are a lot bigger, like they're deeper and also it's a lot wider. So these are the containers that I had in my other everyday makeup drawer, but I guess this is kind of how I'm gonna organize this. I'm gonna put like my eye stuff over here. So we've got like my mascaras, brow products, eye primers and things here. Um, here I have lashes, like lash tools and whatnot. This is a lip product. <laughs> um, I've got my little color switch here, some hand sanitizers. And then here I have my eyeshadow palettes and face palettes. So basically all my palettes in my everyday makeup drawer here um, and then hopefully I'll be able to fit my like face and lip stuff in the other side. Okay, so this is sort of how I have everything organized. This is just a little overview. 
um, basically this component here is for products that can't fit this way so this drawer is definitely shallower than the mom desk that i had before so i can't set these up on their side because they will hit the top of this so this is kind of like a miscellaneous section for larger products i still have my concealers and primers together my powders highlighters foundations and setting sprays it drives me nuts that this isn't the same color but I mean, it fits perfectly, and it's the same brand and everything, so oh well. Um, I've got bronzers and blushes, lip products, and then over here I have all of my mascaras, brows, eye primers, lashes, lash tools, and glue. Some little random things, plus my favorite primer ever, the Moonshine Miracle Cream, and then my face palettes over here, face and eye palettes. I definitely wanted to come over here and grab my Norvina palettes because I love these palettes so much and I want them to be easily accessible. So we're gonna put those in the top drawer of my little unit thing here. I have all of my pressed glitters from With Love Cosmetics right here, so I will be keeping these in here. I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters organized into that drawer and now I just have like a couple of miscellaneous things on my dresser. I also have these acrylic containers which used to be in my makeup room at my parents house. Um, they kind of had like display makeup in them but oh my gosh it looks so bad. <laughs> Um, I plan on switching a lot of this stuff out. I probably won't do that today, but um, I want like certain things to be easily accessible if that makes sense. So uh, I definitely need to redo those, but here are what my bling brushes look like. They're so beautiful. Okay, so I'm actually gonna call it quits for tonight. This was a pretty short evening. It is getting pretty late. It's basically 11 p.m. and I don't want to be too loud to the people underneath us <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night I did clean up this area a lot and then I also cleared off a lot of this I really want to decorate this in like a cute way but I just don't know how I'm going to do that exactly I did take out some blankets from here I need to take this one out um, but other than that I straightened up a couple things over here, but it's still looking pretty messy. I did empty out one whole box. I'm gonna break that down and bring it outside. But other than that, this is what we're looking like. So I guess I will check in with you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is the next day. It is currently 2.10 p.m. And today is the day that Jeffree Star released his cremated collection. I just spent the last couple hours stressing, but I finally, finally made it through and my order went through and I'm so excited. I cannot wait for that package to come in, but I know it's gonna be a while. So anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys a little update. I did a couple things this morning, but nothing too crazy. I cleaned out this little corner over here, so we're looking good. I had all of my brushes down here, and I actually decided to put them on this rolly cart, which I need one more cup to fit on here. This is like my non-Morphe <laughs> eye brush cup, and that's the last thing that doesn't fit on here, so I might have to like reorganize the way I do my brushes so that I can have them all on this rolly cart, aside from my bling brushes over there, of course, obviously. I also cleaned off a lot of this counter space and kind of organized it a bit, so um, now what I'm gonna do is kind of like make room, so I might move this stuff over there and <laughs> throw it with the rest of the uh, stuff that I don't know what to do with yet so that I can lay out a blanket and start going through all of these boxes because this is the last stuff that I have to unpack. These three boxes plus this box. Everything else over here has already been unpacked or opened. I have books in here which I actually unpacked them and then repacked them <laughs> into this box just to kind of organize things a little bit but that's where I'm at right now. So um, I guess this is going to be my main focus at the moment.
Okay, I have everything that was in that box sorted out by category. So I have my powders here, my brow products here, my blushes are over here. I've got concealers here and then bronzers here. So I guess I have one, two, three, four, five drawers in this box. So I'm gonna focus on concealers and powders first and start organizing them into the drawers. Um, and then I'll move on to the other categories. So these are all of my brow products and I really need to go through these and declutter some of them so I figured we could do a little brow declutter in today's video so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do um so yeah here we go so first things first we have this wonder 2 wonder brow one step brow gel I've used this a couple times it's actually two different products which is why I keep it in the box even though it says one step brow gel <laughs> um, but I am gonna go ahead and declutter this since I don't really reach for this too often um, and it is pretty bulky so uh, this could definitely make some room in my brow drawer so that can go I'm definitely keeping all of my benefit products so I'll just go ahead and set those off to the side because those are not going anywhere. I have a couple of these mini Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gels. I love this brow gel so much. I'm definitely keeping these. I'm gonna keep my Glossier Boy Brows. I have clear and I have brown. I have this brow bar by Rima brow kit thing that I think I got in a, a boxy charm, but I don't think I'm ever gonna use this, so that can go. I'll keep my Anastasia brow products as well. I really like the Anastasia brow products. Anastasia and Benefit are like my main <laughs> brow brands. I have some of these brow gels from Rimmel. I think I have three different colors. These are the three shades I have. We have dark brown, medium, and light. I'm pretty sure that these two are gonna be too light for me, so I will go ahead and declutter those and keep the dark brown one. I haven't ever used this before, um, so I am excited to try it out. Typically, I stick to clear brow gels, though, um, but I'm always down to try new products. I believe these are all of the brow gels that I have left in my brow pile. I love brow gel. I go through it like crazy. So I am going to go ahead and keep the two Morphe ones. I'm also going to keep the e.l.f. one, um, the Belief Beauty. This Joa one is really nice, but it's really old and it's like, <laughs> it looks like a tinted brow gel now. <laughs> but it's supposed to be clear, so that one can go. Um, I'll keep the Essence one and then the Billion Dollar Brows one. I'm tempted to keep this, but I don't know. I guess I'll go ahead and keep it because why not? <laughs> I have this Morphe Brow Pomade that I'm going to keep. I have two more of these Tap Brow products. I tried these in a full face of first impressions recently and I did not like them. So um, they actually sent me two of each shade. So these are the two that I didn't use. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter these ones as well. I'm going to keep all of my little Morphe like brow crayon things like the little highlighting carving out sticks i think i might have like three of them this mac brow pencil is so incredibly old <laughs> this needs to be decluttered same goes with this it cosmetics universal brow pencil i recall using this in my second year of college when i was a resident assistant and that was 2016. i'm a big fan of joa brow products but i am gonna go through these because i don't think i use all of these i'm gonna go ahead and keep the wooden brow pencil and the brow pencil and gel and then I'm going to go ahead and declutter these two since they're not in my shade. I have a wooden brow pencil in the shade Ebony, which is too dark for me. And then 
this other product is the auto eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown which is too like red toned for me this essence brow pencil is so old i'm pretty sure i had this when i was in poland which was 2015 so this will be decluttered i'm gonna go ahead and keep my elf and morphe brow pencils this wonder brow dual precision brow liner is really nice but mine is completely empty so this needs to be decluttered i didn't even know that i had this this is a brow pencil from believe beauty i'm definitely going to keep this. I'm also going to keep this Rimmel Brow Pro Micro 24 hour precision stroke pen. I haven't tried this yet so uh, we're going to give it a go. It's in the shade I think brown. I actually don't know what shade this is but we're going to keep it. <laughs> it looks like a dark brown color. Then I have my iconic London um, like brow cushion thing. And I still haven't tried this yet, but I got this in a boxy charm and it looks very intimidating. But a, quite a few people told me that it's actually pretty easy to use and looks really nice. So I am going to go ahead and keep this and actually try it out. Then for my billion dollar brows section, um, I actually have two of these universal brow pencils and it's actually like way too red toned for me. So I think this is still the brand new one. So. This one I will go ahead and declutter. I also have a billion dollar brows, uh, like one of these like fork things. I don't even know if I can show you. The tip of it looks kind of like a fork, if you know what I'm saying. I am not a fan of these, so that one can go. This is a concealer and highlighter duo, which um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I don't really use products like this, but if I do, I'm going to use my Morphe ones. And I'll go ahead and keep the brow gel and the smudge brush. My last set of products are these LA Colors brow pencils. They sent me every single shade, so I pretty much just have to go through these and get rid of the ones that are definitely not going to work for me. I'm left with dark brown, espresso, and medium brown. I'm trying to decide which shades to keep without swatching them so that I can pass them along to people and them still be in new condition. But these six for sure will be decluttered. Medium brown is probably too warm toned for me so that one can go. And I guess I'll just keep these two, which are dark brown and espresso. So these are all the brow products that I'm keeping, which is still quite a bit, but I'm getting rid of this many, which makes me really happy. I feel like I did pretty good. I feel like I definitely didn't get rid of half, but I got rid of a good chunk. And most of these are still new and can be passed along a couple of them, like these ones are definitely old and need to be chunked but um this too probably but other than that the rest of this stuff is pretty dang new and i'm really happy about that so now i'm gonna organize these into this drawer right here and we'll keep it moving here is our new and improved brow drawer i'm so excited i can actually see everything that i have and oh i don't know i just find that so satisfying I have another update for you guys. So I have finished the entire highlighter box, which took me quite a while and it took four drawers, I think. So this is my first highlighter drawer. This is the second. Then we've got the third and then the fourth. Next, I'm gonna work on eye products. So I have a bunch of eye products here. And I decided to move my brow drawer over here as opposed to wherever it was before. Um, I think it was here. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm kind of like shuffling things around. But I'm going to try to put all of my eye products and lip products 
in this one container here. Hopefully it works. Right now I have my letters and stuff from brands in this bottom drawer. And then I have letters from my P.O. box in that drawer. So I don't really know. This whole organization thing is like very overwhelming but i'm working on it so this box has lips in it this has lashes and then this makeup here is eye products that is all of the makeup that i have left to unpack over here i have my jeffree star liquid lipsticks which i'm going to do something different with those um but then the rest of this is kind of like miscellaneous stuff that can probably be put into the closet now it's time to go through all of my mascaras eyeliners pigments glitters liquid shadows literally anything that you could imagine Here is the after of my mascara slash eye primer slash lash glue slash tool organizer. <laughs> we have a lot of different things in here. I didn't declutter too terribly much. I decided to take out all of these brushes and just put them with the rest of my brushes because I literally never use these because they're in this drawer and I don't think to go to this drawer for brushes. And then I'm going to move these eyeliners. These are all potted eyeliners. So I'm going to move those somewhere else. I have this little lip scrubber thing which I'm gonna move to my lip drawers and then I am getting rid of these three new products we have a brand new buxom mascara a brand new grande drama mascara and then a new lashes MD eyelash slash eyebrow conditioner these are just extras that I don't think that I need actually I know I don't need them <laughs> and then here I just have some older like dried up mascaras this Too Faced shadow insurance is so old and then this is a little razor that is like so dull so I like to use these for my eyebrows um so yeah that is this stuff is going in the trash these will be decluttered and given to somebody else and then these products are just going to be moved now i have to tackle this massive basket <laughs> of eye products this is actually a brush cleaner from morphe i think i'm going to actually put this in a fails video because i was not the biggest fan of this so <laughs> i'll set that aside um for something else but oh, this is stressing me out i think this will be two drawers two different drawers So these four organizers all go in one drawer and let me show you the declutter pile. So this is what I'm keeping and this is everything that I am decluttering. I am seriously so proud of myself. I'm decluttering all of these buxom shadows. I have my palette filled up all the way so I can't really do anything with these extra shadows. Um, also all of these Lancome eyeshadow sticks I kept I think two of them and then I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the rest because I only use the Laura Mercier ones for the most part which are all right here I have my two Charlotte Tilbury ones on top but then the rest of those are Laura Mercier so I'm gonna keep the Laura Mercier ones and declutter all of these Lancome ones I also decided to get rid of a bunch of these Stila things which just are old and dried up some other like older single shadows and this is actually brand new this is a caviar eye stick in the shade rose gold but i have like four of these so i'm not gonna open up another one um but yeah i'm so happy that that whole entire pile is leaving 
this one little drawer. The swatches on my hand are so pretty right now. Those are all of my like um, glitter cream shadow things and some of those like caviar eye sticks and whatnot, but mm, I'm so happy and proud of myself. What's up you guys? It has been literally weeks since the last time that I updated you, so I really have no idea where I left off, but my filming slash beauty room is finally done. Well, pretty much for the most part. <laughs> so I wanted to finish up this little two-part series and give you guys a little overview of what my filming room slash makeup room looks like. So here we are. Uh, we've been living here for almost two months now and I have my whole setup going. It's not perfect, but it's definitely very functional and a lot better than it was before. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour. So when you walk into the room, you have the closet here, which is full of things and I'm not gonna open the doors because that is a whole other project. Also, there is a severe weather warning, so I'm sorry if you can hear like crazy thunder and rain. Um, but anyway, <laughs> over here, I just have my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and things because I don't have another place to put these, so I have to figure something out with that. I've got my perfumes here. This is actually my, ow! So this is my streaming setup. If you didn't know, I actually live stream on Twitch several nights a week. <laughs> I live I live stream Fortnite, I live stream Animal Crossing, and a bunch of other video games. It's super fun. Make sure you guys check the link in the description box to go join the Twitch fam. It's a good old time over there, but this is just my little gaming PC. I've got my mouse pad, my keyboard, which is supposed to light up pink, but for some reason it's not. <laughs> uh, my controller, my mouse, I've got my two monitors. I have this little ring light here, which saves my life when I'm streaming. And then I have my Yeti mic along with my computer. I turned it on just so I could show you guys all the pretty pink lights. Um, I have this sitting on top of the Mickey table from Ikea, and this is also part of the Mickey collection. I will link as much furniture and like stuff as I can down below in case you're interested in the details of my PC and like my filming room setup, my filming equipment, things like that. This chair is from Amazon. I've got my headphones down here. This corner has, oh my goodness. Am I okay? <laughs> I keep tripping on things. This corner has all of my PR packages. I have to film a PR haul so bad. This is full of PR packages and PO box letters and things like that. So this is a video that will be coming very soon. I have my fan here. Then if I pan this way, I have all of my Alex 9 drawer units. I have it sort of decorated on top. It's definitely not perfect. But we're working with it. We've got body, no, hair care, body care, skin care, makeup, 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 makeup. <laughs> A lot of this decor is the same as it was at my parents' house, but I have rearranged quite a bit of it, so... Just thought I would give you guys a little update. Look at how gorgeous this bear is. Oh, I love it. This is from Lay Fifi Lovely Gifts. I will have her Instagram down below. I freaking love this bear. It's so cute. <laughs> I keep my tripod back there when I'm not using it. Over here, I have this cart from Ikea, which just has a bunch of random stuff on it. I've got my makeup brushes on top, and then I have a little mini empties basket going down there. <laughs> um, sorry for the horrible lighting. Over here is my filming setup, which, as you can see, I have the same Mickey desk and little Mickey drawer thing. I've got my pink rug. My lights are all from Amazon. Those will be linked down below. It'll be on my Amazon favorites page. I will link anything that's from Amazon on that page um, just so you guys can find it all in one place. Um, but this, this is the setup I use. I have two of these box lights and then I use a ring light and then my camera normally sits like right here. <laughs> um, I also have this backdrop stand, which is from Amazon. Um, I have my BoxyCharm boxes here that I need to film, as well as a couple of other things. This is my cremated palette for my giveaway that will be coming very soon. This is the IKEA Malm desk. I ended up putting this behind me. This used to be my old filming desk. So as you can see, I went from this much space 
to this much space so much much better I just have a couple little decorations and then of course the iconic play button that was blinged out by none other than a blinged brushes herself isn't it so beautiful ah I'm so obsessed with this still for my filming setup it's definitely changed a little bit since the last time I updated you I have all of my silver eye brushes here from bling brushes I have my starry nights collection here I've got some lip products in here we've got Jeffree Star uh, Lunar Beauty, more Jeffree Star. I actually haven't ended up switching out these acrylic drawers yet, even though I said I was going to. I still need to do that. But I did add these on top. Look at these beautiful acrylic containers. I wish the lighting was better so that I could show off these brushes, but like, oh, these are so cute in here. I got these from Amazon. You can get pink pearls, black ones, white ones, or no pearls. They actually just open up like this, and it's so freaking adorable. I have this little protective sheet that I got from Ikea as well, which I'm so glad I did because I already have makeup like stained on here. Um, I've got my other acrylic drawer thing here as well as my silver brushes and another one of these acrylic brush holders. I think they are just so freaking cute. Um, over here I have just some other little tools. I've got like my sponges, some other brushes, um, these cups. I keep saying um, like wow. These cups are from Glam Obsession Design. I will link her Instagram down below as well. They're so freaking cute. I usually keep, you know, my bling brushes in them. That's what I have in those two. Then I've just got my speaker that I used to listen to music before I start filming. This is for cotton, uh, like Q-tips and cotton balls. And then of course, my uh, blinged brushes cup that is so 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 iconic and then the last thing that i have to show you guys is this a box of goodies here i actually mentioned in part one that there would be a giveaway in this video which it ended up being in the part two <laughs> but anyway i went through my giveaway drawer and i just gathered up a ton of makeup for one of you guys so to enter the giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel and then comment down below and in your comment make sure you include some way that i can contact you if you win so either an instagram username an email a twitter username something like that so that i can contact you if you win um we've got a ton of fun stuff in here we've got some fenty we've got lunar beauty we've got wander beauty we've got joa we've got some skincare jeffree star cosmetics more lunar beauty we've got some pixie and a ton of other stuff so if you want to enter the giveaway the rules will be in the description box so make sure that you do so but other than that this is pretty much it I know that was like pretty quick, <laughs> a quick little room tour. Um, I obviously have stuff like in the drawers. So this is like my everyday makeup drawer here. I've got actually two everyday makeup drawers. <laughs> We've got this one and this one. I will be doing an updated one very soon because I've been using these products for several months now. So it's definitely time to update them. Um, but if you guys want to see a full on makeup collection, I could definitely do that and go through like each and every drawer. So like, you know, all of these Alex nine drawers, I can go through them and show you guys what, to, what is in each one. But other than that, I guess, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.